Hello everyone, I'm Jarvis. Today's topic is about use MATLAB to process voice activity detection. And my method is about spectral energy. You can see there are many ways to process this, maybe from time domain or frequency domain. And the most common is use STE or ZCR. This is very useful in time domain, but if you, you are in a noise environment, is not very useful. So today I choose the spectral energy to do the this operation. So it's very easy. Maybe you can see this example. My audio is a speech and there is a SNR tem for music noise and the spectral grain is like this one. You can see my speech is here and here. So how to extract this part for my voice activity detection? First, I can set a frequency range. It's like I can set from 300 to 3000 or something and remove from energy if it less than zero. You can see here is zero. And I can only keep the strong energy about this part. So after I remove my energy, it's like this one. And you can see some strong energy left here. So I can collect this part of energy to detect when is my voice activity. And if I take a summation for each frame, and you can see the wave here. And I can set a threshold as like 4. And if more than 4, it is active. And if less than 4, it's not active. So you can see another, another step is use a filter to connect or remove. Like if the time is more than 3 seconds, I remove this part because it's not my command. And if it's too small, it's like only um, half second is too short, so I can set that is a noise and I can remove it. Okay, the final step is I can set a buffer in the both side, like left side and right, right side. And this example is for half second more in the both side. Now you can see my function here, and I have I've already uploaded to my GitHub. You can see the link under the video. So my function is very easy. You you only have two required parameters. One is for our speech data and the second one is sampling frequency. And this is another parameter I show you here. It's like a gray color. So there are many thresholds that you can choose in your own signal. So now I can demo straight to you how to use my function. So for example, now I have two audio and this audio and this audio is a clean speech. Jarvis studio so you can listen about it's only two keywords in this signal and for my noise signal is a pop noise <laughs> okay now I can mix them into a one signal with SNR12. Okay. And now you can listen about what this signal sound like. Jarvis Studio. 
because of the signal noise across 12 is very speech is very stronger than the noise so it's easy to use VAD as my example so the first parameter is speech data and the second one is frequency and then this one is what kind of mode you want to show and now I use one as an example and this is a buffer in the both side like left side and right side see here and this is the max the maximum active length like if it is more than how many seconds it will remove because it's not my command so now it's like only one second because of drivers and studio is very short and this is a threshold you can see it later for the energy wave okay here this one is very clean you can see these two part of activity detection but it's very easy because of the noise is very small and there are two short buffer for 0.1 second as a buffer in the both side and this figure is about I set a threshold is 100 so if more than 100 I set a active and is less than 100 is not active so I can show you for another example if I mix them in SNR 9 so let's hear how it listen like Jarvis Studio Okay um, Now I can show you here the part mode is 2 if I use 2 it will show each, each part of my signal as a signal 1 and signal 2 and this is the energy so you can see it's very useful in here and you can see this parameter for output parameter the num is how many active part for this signal here is 2 so I have 2 active part and this is its position indexed like this one the first segment is from how many index to how many index and for in this example is this part and this part okay now I can show you for smaller SNR like if SNR is 3 let's hear about that Jarvis Studio so in a lower SNR it's hard to use just 10 domain to separate it to detect which part is active active segment but if you use spatial energy it can use be very great so if SNR is 3 and the threshold is 100 you can see it's not very useful because of the threshold is not clear to separate them so now maybe I can choose my threshold as 250 so it's separate for my signal if lower SNR like 0 and let's hear about that so let's hear about if I use SNR equals 0 Jarvis Studio so this is very hard to use in time domain like short time energy or zero cross thread but if you use spatial energy let's see it and it's still active for two parts and although the another part is very strong it cannot be detected 
。Okay, that's all. Thanks for your watching. My next video is about use real-time operation in voice active detection, and I can show in MATLAB now, like this one. So, this is real-time voice activity detection. Thanks for your watching. If you want to watch my next video, please subscribe me. And remember, I have already uploaded my code in the GitHub and introduced in my website. Thank you again.